Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. So today is going to be the day where I start to plant the sugar beet and also I need to build this this bunker here for the sugar beet once it is ready to harvest because um, that is where it's going to be stored until the price is very good. I could just sell it straight off the field but as already mentioned in a previous video that would not be a very good thing to do financially. Of course it would be very easy because I wouldn't have to store it but then again the potential loss of money uh, could be huge. It could be like a hundred thousand pounds lost just because I didn't wait for the best time. So um, yep, this is where it's going to be. I need to obviously build it. It's started but it's not finished. Um, so I'll do that when the worker is continuing on with the planting. Okay, so what I've just done is I have bought the first planter and actually looking at this, it's expensive. It is very expensive. £38,000 it's cost me, which isn't too bad. That's for six metres in working width. Obviously, not including the seed, but double the width, for some reason, is £129,000. It's bizarre to me, that is very bizarre. Um, I don't think it even puts fertiliser down to, or maybe it does, but maybe they both do. So I can't see the benefit. Anyway, yes, what I'm going to do is obviously buy one of those, which I've done, and then hopefully sell the eggs and lease another one, because six metres isn't much for that fairly large field. Um, and the reason why I want to buy one outright anyway is because I am going to be transferring these machines to the next Let's Play. So there's no harm in buying it. The same with anything else I buy, like in the final episode of this Felsbrin Let's Play, I might buy something really expensive. And a few viewers might think, well, that was stupid, because you, you're just going to get rid of it again. But no, I'm going to be transferring everything. Uh, that's right, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Good. Uh, as for seed, I have seed over at the farm, so there's no point buying any more at the moment. So, yep, yeah, what I'm going to do is fill it up. I'm going to have to use the front loader or the, the bag tool. And then a worker can have the Massey Ferguson. I'll take the John Deere eventually, but yeah, before I do that, I do need to build the beet storage area and also I need to sell the eggs and possibly some wool. Um, but we'll see about that. And actually, possibly some horses, but I don't think so. Not today. So, yeah, first things first. Let's open up the front. I think the front is for seed. And I think the back is for fertilizer. So I'm going to grab the Ford tractor, which I'm very pleased about not selling. I, I'm, I couldn't have sold it. If I'd sold it, it would have been a big mistake. Uh, it's like a double front loader. Yes, I can take the, the front thing off the Lizard 1300, is it? I don't know. I'm just going to call it the Lizard Very Good Tool, because that's exactly what it is. It is very good. Okay, I need the pallet fork, which as usual I have lost. I overthink things too much. Of course, the pallet fork is with the bags where they're going to be used. <sighs> right, okay. So, uh... I think I did use about 10% of this bag in the front of the shed, so I'm going to pick that one back up again, mainly because it is the most convenient. It's at the front, which makes just obvious sense. Okay, I've now skewered it, like a kebab. Uh, I think that's going to fill it, but I can't really say, because I don't really know. Oh no, don't jump. It's jumping! No, no, oh! Goodness, this is getting bad. Uh, well, at least there's some cabaret in these videos. That's better. Uh, yeah, there is space for more, so I'm just going to keep filling it up. I really do need to. Although I'm going to have to take a bit of a side swipe at these bags and not crash into the shed. Coming in from a different angle. Although I think it does still work. I'm pretty sure it does. Of course, if you get it through the loop, you still have to go through the loop. Uh, yep, that seems to have grabbed it. Good. Yeah, it's 2,000 litres. It's definitely not going to require another 2,000. But it might take another 500 or 1,000, possibly. 500-ish. Uh, Good enough. Okay, so now for the fertiliser. I'm fairly sure it does take fertiliser. But which bag is fertiliser? because I've got quite a bit of lime here. That's lime, the red one. Uh, hmm, I think everything here is lime. Interesting. 
No, actually, no, wait, there's two. That's seed. Oh, that's seed two. It's just got a different logo on the back. Oh, it's the instructions. Goodness me, this is a learning curve. Okay, so, yeah, I probably should grab some fertiliser. I'm going to go over to the store. I do need to take the gator ideally. I can travel down the road. But the last time I travelled down the road with a big bag, the bag somersaulted over the front loader and landed on the tractor's bonnet, which was... Well, it worked, but it, it was not exactly a good idea. It's left a bit of a dent in the bonnet too. I could use my brain skills. I could put the bag on a pallet and strap it to it. Then it can't somersault or backflip. Woohoohoo, £3,200. These are some pricey prices. But I'm still going to do what I said. If you can strap them, it doesn't mean you can do, but I know the pallet can strap. That pallet is inconveniently upside down, so I'm going to have to go to this one over here. Good job I have two. Uh, that's surprisingly heavy. 3.2 tonnes, I assume. Oh, yep, it makes the brakes kind of pointless. Okay. Yeah, I, I really don't know if you can strap one of these. I'll be very interested to see. Well, it's on, and it's looking a bit restless. But yes, you can strap. So, hopefully, that means it's not going to now do a bit of uh, ballet in the road. So far, so good. And it means I don't have to go back for the gator. They should really create a new exit just here. It, it would be very convenient. It's somehow made it more stable as well, being on a pallet. I don't know if it's reduced the mass somehow. I doubt it. It's just, it feels more stable. Maybe it's just because it's not jiggling. So let's see if it actually does take fertilizer. I really don't know if it does. This is getting painful. It's a bit too heavy for the tractor. Okay, yep, it is disappearing. So, well, it's emptying. It's not disappearing. And it's now full. It doesn't take much. Which, again, is a very good thing. So that can now wait here until the next tractor is ready. I suppose I should put the front loader down. Now, of course, I have done my checks, and that field is going to have to be cultivated first. I keep forgetting that you have to cultivate before you plant. So, um, yeah, I need to... Well, basically, I need to get a cultivator. So if I just very quickly off-screen load up these pallets into probably the gator... Um, I'll get them sold. Hopefully the price is good. If it is, then even better. But a cultivator shouldn't be too expensive. We're currently at 6157, which is a very good price over at Port Northwest. Well, I have been very busy trying to stack this very neatly. Without the pallets, of course, I haven't even used the pallet. Which I think is better to use the pallet, because then you can actually strap everything as a whole. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just trying to get this done very quickly, because I need to get the beat in. I really do has to start growing. Uh, also, I'd like to have it as the most productive crop you can get, so it needs to be fertilised twice. Is that everything? Yep. Uh, I don't know if this strap is going to be able to go over everything. We'll see. I think, yeah, I think everything is strapped. I also have some over here, but not too many. I'll pick them up. I think I'm going to have to keep going higher, just to be able to fit everything on. So, I'll see you in a second. And finally, we have this one here. And of course, all of this is going by express delivery. It just has to. Otherwise, we're going to have some issues. Okay, right, okay. Just to update the pallet straps. Good. Ratchet straps. Yep, that's looking secure. Off we go to Port Northwest. And hopefully, I'm going to be coming back with no egg boxes and an absolute ton of money. That would be ideal. Ooh, I've got a crater down there. That's a bit of my expert landscaping. And here's a piece of my expert drilling. I managed to get some crop to grow in the middle of the road. Oh, looks like there's a train coming. Oh. Alright, back a bit. Go on, back a bit. A bit more. Come on, keep going. Let's get these barriers up. Just just go away. 
The sell point. Delivered by express delivery by an expert. There we go. Nice. <laughs> I think that was around... Um, that was very evil laugh, actually. Was it about £22,000? Thereabouts, anyway. Pretty good. I'll just put this away. I'm heading down to the store to pick up the cultivator with this tractor, although this tractor definitely will not be pulling it because it requires 400 horsepower, uh, which this isn't, but the Massey Ferguson is. The Massey Ferguson is 400. Um, I think this one is 200 and something. So nowhere near enough, but hopefully this is going to be enough for the planter, because it shouldn't take too much power. In fact, I'm surprised that this even requires 400 horsepower, because it doesn't look that big. There were much larger ones, but they required 500. So, yeah. Anyway, it's just a very quick uh, pickup, and we'll swap it over. And this is taking too long. Yeah, so the idea is one planter, one cultivator. This is leased, but the planter is mine, so that can be now transferred to the next farm when we move. Whenever that may be, I don't know. Well that all seems to be working very well, one thing I have noticed though is that the fertiliser is going down very quickly, it's being consumed incredibly rapidly. Uh, I just don't know why the capacity of that isn't larger, I suppose there isn't space, but I'm ready, I'm ready to refill. You can see it's only taken the slightest piece out of this bag and that wheel is not going round, completely off the ground. Um, so yeah, I, I'm going to be on that juicy, fertiliser juicy, but also I need to do this, which is, again, a bit of a priority. I can't harvest until it is done. So I think in a minute, when I know that everything is working very well over here, I'm going to build this. It's going to be another time lapse, but they should be fine. The Massey Focus will definitely be fine because that's a base game machine. The John Deere should be fine, although I did notice that the, uh, well, there was a slight incompatibility between the tractor and the planter. For some reason, it was trying to pull to one side continually, but it should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Overall, it's a decent mod. Seems good. The worker seems to be able to control it better than me. So I'm going to go and grab the Ford again. Um, I could try and... Oh, it stopped anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, I was going to say I could just go and change the uh, option for it. But there isn't much point since I've already paid for the fertilizer. It's all here. Although, it is going through it very quickly, so I might just have to... The fill point is somewhere here, which I can't even lift up to. Uh, did that empty? I think it did. Oh, the work has gone home. It did, yeah. So, off you go again, worker. I'm going to have to change the option. But that is getting close to my bale wall, but it shouldn't ever hit it. If it does hit it, then, well, it was intentional. Time to start building, although I forgot that I have to somehow get these down from the top. Uh, ideally, I need a telehandler, so in the next Let's Play I do, when I have the money, I'll buy a telehandler. But actually, this attachment seems quite good. Should, should be able to get them down, although it's going to be quite heavy. And also, this attachment, I've noticed, does like to jiggle them about a bit. But it, overall, it's good just does seem to jiggle. Unless it's the tractor. I couldn't really blame a particular mod because I don't know for sure.
looking good. I'm in a bit of a race over there. I did actually give the Massey Ferguson a break. I, did, I had to do my screenshot. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, actually more impressive now because they are basically running side by side. Now, this is going okay. Some of the bells seem to have shifted. I don't know why. Because, as far as I'm aware, nothing has crashed into them. So, why some of them at the back here are looking like that? I suppose it was just my slacking. It must have been. And also, the reason why this uh, attachment looks like it's shaking things, shaking the bells, uh, I think it's actually because I'm overloading it. I think it's only supposed to take three, but I'm not too sure. But it actually works very well. If you have another bale on the times, you can sort of use it as a buffer thing. Do a bit of ramming. I'm not looking for perfection, but it obviously can't fall down. Oh no, they've blocked each other. <laughs> okay, uh, well that one can give way. I just need to give it a bit of time to get back in front. We have some wheel slippage, or severe wheel slippage, there should always be some. Uh, but it's, it's going alright, it's, it's good. Yep, very good. Oh, it's because the John Deere is so fast. Speed tractor! I will continue building this and sorting out any arguments there are over there between the two tractors. They are both battling for the same piece of land. You've got a whole field to go at. Looks like they are actually getting a gap between them now, which is good. Oh no, they've closed up again. It was looking good. Okay. It's tucked up close. Um, and then, yeah, I keep taking the one off the top because I don't want four. And then I can build another stack. I've bought another, built another three here, so that's good. Lots of good things. And then we have another segment of the wall. Now I've given them a really good gap between them, so they should never crash into each other again. And this is almost finished. I think I have a very uneven number of bales, so... Actually, yeah, I have three here for the other side, but then that might be it. Oh, no, I've built, the <laughs> I've built it differently. That's annoying. No doubt a lot of viewers have already noticed what I've done. That's why I was struggling with this corner here. That is on this side of it, but over here, it's in front. And it's not exactly easy to change. I might be able to push the whole lot. If I, if I push it all with... Um, a whole load of bells here. It could work. But this could go very, very badly wrong. But it makes for good entertainment. After all, it wouldn't make a change because most things in my videos go very, very badly wrong. So it's just normal. Um, but yeah, how to do this? That's the question. Actually, uh, I don't know. This wall isn't looking good anyway, so it needs to be rebuilt. And that does not have the power, which is not surprising. I'm going to bring this one out again, because at least it makes it bigger. It makes the capacity larger, so I will see you in possibly 10 hours. I think that actually went surprisingly well. Am I right in thinking it took 4 minutes? It, it looked, felt like 10, actually, but yeah, 4, I think. Um, so, just got to push this wall back in a bit further. But I'm almost there, very close to completion. And yeah, it doesn't look good, but it's going to hold sugar beet and that is the only job. After that, the bells can possibly be sold. They might be a bit slimy, but yeah, I think I'll sell them. It's a good way of clearing them. Finished. Oh, I'm on the crop. Oh, I have been for the last 10 minutes. Uh, so yeah, that is looking, in my opinion, good. That is as good as it needs to be. Of course, you might have your own opinion, but yep, that is to me a very suitable storage point for sugar beet. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to reverse all the trailers into here, tip in somewhere near the back. I don't know how well it's going to work. I'm really hoping that when I tip, it doesn't sort of ignore the bells are here and then just lift up the bells and tip them all over. If it does, then, well, goodbye bales. I'm going to have to pick them up with the auto stacker and sell them, but we'll see. So the John Deere is there. Matthew Ferguson's over there. Very close to completion. Uh, by the next episode, they should be completed. They should have completed the field. If not, then it'd be, again, very close and I'll be able to fertilise the rest of the field. So... Yeah, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you like the beat storage point and this. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.